Hi, my name is Jeff Doherty, and I'm from Angel's Garden Center. Many of you have just received a robocall from Chief Fire Chief Slayman and uh, Emergency Director Slayman. In that message, we heard about the drought that has been going on all summer and what that means to us as homeowners and as business owners. One of the things that we need to do is to find new ways to conserve our water and to be able to have our vegetables and our plants still live through a drought. One thing that you can do is something simple that's at every home and that's the downspout from your gutters and just take a regular trash barrel and let that fill your trash barrel. That's a 32 gallon trash barrel. It'll fill up with water when we have a rainstorm in five to 10 minutes. Then you can take a watering can and dip it in and use that to water whatever you have. Another great method to save water for your plants is actually to use a milk jug. Every time you rinse out a milk jug and you pour it down the sink, you're pouring down liquid fertilizer. And it's as simple as putting about a cup of water in that milk jug and taking it and using it either in the house plants in your home or in the window boxes along the front of your house. These are great methods to do that. And one of those I'll be able to show you if we take a look. It doesn't matter if it's soy, cream, half and half, milk, any one of those would be great to use for your plants. The farmers in Vermont, when they take the milk from the cows and make cheese, they take those milk vats and they rinse them out, they put them into a huge tank that goes on the back of a tractor, and they take it out into the field and spray it all over the field because that's beneficial nutrients and fertilizer, liquid nitrogen for the grass. And that's why the grass is so green in Vermont. Another great method that you could do, it's kind of too bad that we take fresh drinking water and use that to dispose of our waste. So another water saving technique is to take a regular building brick and put this in the tank of your toilet. This will save about a half a gallon of water. It's a great method to save more water in these times of a drought. One of the more important things that we need to think about as we go forward is all of this media that's about bees and saving bees. Obviously it has to do with pesticides, but another thing that you can do in your own backyard just to save the bees is to set up either a small pan or a bird bath. Put a little bit of stone in it and fill it with water just to cover the stone because that way the bees can come down, land on the stone, and then they'll gather the water from inside. And they really need that in the time of a drought. They are doing so much work to gather the pollen so that they can go back to the hive and produce honey. But they're critical to our lifeline because bees are the ones that pollinate our food, our flowers. That's how they produce honey, but that's how they produce our food. And without the bees, we cannot survive. So hopefully you'll be able to use one of these methods that we've taught you in this time of a drought. Thank you.